guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are doing a Bath & Body Works haul. So I did pick up a bunch of candles a couple of weeks ago and they've just been sitting in my studio. As per usual, I always go and I buy candles whenever I need them and then it takes me forever to film these hauls for some reason. I don't know why I want to use these candles, but it always takes forever for me to film. So I am here doing a Bath & Body Works haul. I also have all of the candles from this candle subscription box that I had. I did cancel it because I just have way too many candles now that I have to get through before I can even think about going forward with another candle subscription. Plus the scents that I was getting wasn't really up my alley. There weren't really scents that I would have picked on my own. So I canceled. It is a very inexpensive candle service. I think it was like $25 or something a month for a candle and a gift. It wasn't that bad, it's just, it was too blah for me. I just wasn't getting any of the scents that I really wanted, so I canceled. So this is going to be a Bath & Body Works haul and the other subscription box that I have. So I'm gonna go through the subscription box first just so that we can go through it all and get that out of the way and then we can move on to Bath & Body Works. So if you were curious about what I am currently wearing, I did not film this video because it was just something I did for fun and it was just, I was bored. So the eye look that I'm wearing tonight is my Hidden Cosmetics Duochrome. It shifts from blue to purple. And I have cute little stars here that are just glued on stars. They're like chunky glitter. My earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. And my wig is from the brand I'm Style Wigs. I do have a review up on my channel already wearing this wig. So that is up in the eye. And then it is a black and white style wig. I just don't really like the part of it. So I like to throw a hat on with it. And if it looks weird, well, it looks weird. I don't really care. I wanted to wear this wig today. And I have a piece of hair that isn't in the right spot. Okay. So this is from the brand Bella Box. So these are all of the candles that I got in my subscription box. And I also ordered off of one of their sales that they had. It was a coffee box. So I'm gonna go through all of the months that I didn't film because I kept putting it off. And now I have three months worth plus the coffee candle that I ordered. So this is the first one. I don't know what month what is. So that's just gonna be how it is. So this one is the... A quality of coziness and comfort that fosters feelings of contentment or well-being, often enjoyed with good food, good company, warm blankets, and candlelight. And it looks like this. This is the little postcard that we got. And this is what this month looks like. So I do have the middle tier candles. So I do get one large candle and that is it. I also get a gift with every month that I get a candle, but I just have too many candles now. So this is the cactus flower candle. It looks like this. It's really cute. It is just a single wick candle. So the very first month that I did this candle um, subscription box, I literally just got through the candle like a couple of weeks ago. So these candles are very, very, very long burning. So that is one thing that I really enjoyed about these candles. They do smell very essential oily. So if you are into like baking scents and like Bath & Body Works scents, you may not enjoy these candles as much as you'll enjoy the Bath & Body Works stuff, but these candles burn so much longer than Bath & Body Works candles. I don't know if it's because they're just single wick candles or what, but oh my God, they take forever to get through. So I do enjoy that. So this is the Cactus Flower. So it's wax and wane small batch soy candles, hand poured, and it is eight ounces and it smells kind of floral. <laughs> it's a cactus flower. It's a very floral scent. So if you don't like strong floral scents, if they give you a headache, you really won't like this candle. This isn't my absolute favorite candle, but it is really nice. I'll keep this in my bathroom. So this is that that's a good spot for a candle like that. And then this is the gift. So we got a shea butter and jasmine hand soap. So it looks like this. And I'm really excited to use this. I honestly don't really use bar soaps that often, but my boyfriend is really into them. He gets that Sasquatch soap or whatever that everyone is freaking out about all over TikTok. And he didn't even get it from TikTok. Like he found it himself. He doesn't even have a TikTok or he doesn't use TikTok or whatever. And he is obsessed with those soaps. And I just think it's funny that everybody is into soaps nowadays. So this is the Shea Butter and Jasmine soap. And then the featured little information that we got on here is the Cactus Flower is Green Jade something petals that I can't say, I'll post it here on the screen, cannot say this word. Watery aloe, earthly patchouli, and it captures the essence of sweet cactus blossoms just as they emerge from the long desert winter. This bright botanical fragrance is light floral and green. I do agree. It is very, very, very 
green. <laughs> so this is the Wax and Wayne. So they are a brand from Oregon. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. That was this month's candle. So we got a candle that is cactus blossom and soap. So that is really cool. I also love the fact that they come in these reusable pouches. So really great for jewelry, really, really good for like stocking stuffers or just in general having these little bags. They're really handy and they're really cute. I like this one. It's just a simple kind of beige cloth and I'll definitely put my jewelry in it because I have been on a kick for earrings lately. So the next one is the, this chapter feels really good. So it looks like this. So this is this month's. And the bag is green. I love the color of this bag. This is my absolute favorite color. And this candle is seagrass and citrus. So they're very floral scents that I was getting lately and I'm just not really the biggest floral person. I like baking scents more than I like floral scents. So these candles weren't really up my alley, but they do smell nice. So this is the seagrass. So this one smells like men's cologne to me. So if you're really sensitive to scents and you don't like strong scents like that, you really won't like this candle. It really smells like men's cologne. It's a nice candle, but I personally wouldn't really go for this. This may be something that I'm gonna give away to one of my friends that may enjoy this more. Like my roommate, he may actually really enjoy this candle, but I don't. <laughs> so this isn't my favorite candle. So the gift we got was a aluminum free, baking soda free, keep cool, deodorant cream and it is in the scent lavender and I'm not into this. This is a cute giveaway for some people but I'm not into cream deodorants so I won't use that. So the information on this one is the seagrass and citrus. So calm your surroundings while awakening the heart of sea greens and salty nuances. This aquatic fruit and aromatic notes will remind you of the ocean presence while at the same time hinting at the mountainous temperature forest. A bit of both earthly textures emerge to gather a longing and remembrance. I'm getting more kind of like foresty than I am getting ocean with that scent. I know it is seagrass but I don't know it kind of gives me like it smells like pine almost. It smells very 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 pine. <laughs> smells like a forest. This is the seagrass, okamos, fresh citrus, and sea salt sage. So this is not my favorite candle, not my favorite gift, but it is a nice candle. It's from Luna Ray Candle Co. So again, it's an eight ounce candle. I'm just really not into that one. That was not my favorite candle to get. So I'm going to probably give that one away. And the last one that comes in my subscription boxes, other than the big box that is the coffee scented one, is this one. So I love their cute little boxes. They're so adorable. So we got a, another white cloth one. It's just another exact same cloth, reusable. And this is the Broken Top Candle Company. So sea salt and surf. So it's a soy cotton, natural oil, 50 hour burn. And this one is a nine ounce candle. So the packaging is really cute on this one. I like this one a lot. And this one smells like, oh, I don't think I smelled this one. I love this, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think I actually opened this box after getting it like two or three weeks ago. It's just been sitting in here and it's wood cream jasmine. Oh my God, this smells amazing. It's really, really like, almost like a baking scent. Like it's, oh, it smells amazing. Oh my God, okay. I love the scent of that. Oh, and the card that we got on this one was so full of sunshine. So full of sunshine, that's cute. So it looks like this. I really, really like this one so far. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. So this is the Sea Salt Surf Candle. So all subscribers got this one. And this one is Jasmine Sweet Cream Driftwood and Sea Salt. So close your eyes and imagine yourself seaside. The incoming waves break against the rocks and you can feel a salty mist on your face. Toes in the sand with a good book in hand. That is the essence of this candle. Mmm, smells so good. Oh my God, I love this. I think it's the sweet cream that I'm really liking, kind of like, almost like a baking scent. And oh my God, it smells so fucking delicious. It's so good. And then this is a, I don't really know what this is. I think it's like a scrubber for like doing dishes because it's like really, really rough, unless it's like an exfoliator. Oh, it's a daily facial mini scrubber. So it is a scrubber, but it's for your face, not pots. Okay. <laughs> so pair with your favorite face wash or cleanse your skin in circular motions. Hold a better grip by placing your fingers in the pockets. Pro tip, use on the go for travel, the gym, or a quick daily beauty regime. Soy-based foam material and natural cotton-based layers with nylon and exfoliating loops, clinically allergy and dermatologist tested, never treated on animals. This is too rough for my skin. As you guys know, I have very sensitive skin. So this is way, 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 way too rough for me, 
but I definitely use this side because this side is really soft. But this side for exfoliating my skin would be just be too rough and it would probably hurt my skin more than it would help my skin. But I really like the candle, oh my goodness. Sweet cream, driftwood, sea salt, and jasmine. I love that combination. That is my absolute favorite candle so far that I've gotten throughout the subscription box, so that's amazing. And I think I've had this subscription box for about five months now. I have, I've gotten, gotten five candles. So five months is enough time to test out this kind of subscription box. I just, as you guys can see, I have a crap ton of candles now that I <laughs> have to get through and they're like 50 hour burn time. So like I really just needed to cancel because I was not burning them in time to get the next candle. And the next one is this big box. So I ordered this coffee one. So this is the Glow Toffee Fudge and Nutty Roasted in California. So we actually broke into this a couple of weeks ago and we did not like this coffee. It was too weak for us. We usually drink really, really dark roast coffee. It was just too weak of a tasting coffee for us, but it does smell really good. So if I ever want to make candles again, I may just add these coffee beans to my candle because I have done that in the past and it makes a really, really nice candle. I like coffee scented candles. But as for an actual coffee for drinking, I didn't really like it. But it does really, really taste like toffee. It's toffee fudge. It does have a nutty like aroma and taste, but wasn't my favorite coffee. And the candle looks like this. So it's in a white cloth bag. And you pull the candle out. It looks like this. It is from the brand Book End Candle. So this is the Coffee House Fresh Ground Coffee Hazelnut and Sweet Cream. It's 100% soy wax. Oh, it smells so good. I wouldn't really say it's a coffee scent though. Like, it kind of reminds me of the candle that Kyle really likes from Bath and Body Works, the um, Paris Cafe one, because it has more of like a creamy scent than it really does a coffee scent. It's kind of like a latte scent. Like, it's not just straight coffee. Whereas the campsite coffee candle from Bath and Body Works that they've never freaking brought back is my absolute favorite candle by them, and it smells like coffee. This smells more like cream than it really does coffee. It does have a coffee like scent to it, but it's more like a latte scent, but it's a really, really cute candle and I'm very excited to burn that one. And the last thing that we got is, oh, we actually got a silicone drinking straw that I don't have in here anymore. I don't think, I think I put it in, oh no, it is, it's just folded. It is the same color as the packaging, so I didn't see it. So we got a silicone drinking straw that I'm gonna go put in my pantry after I go through this box. And then we got a mug. This is probably a mug that I'm not going to keep just because I have way too many mugs in my pantry already. It is a really, really sturdy cup. Like it's really, really nice. It's just not something that I personally need. It just has the Sundering Coffee logo on it. Same as the coffee. It's just not a mug that I really, really needed. I only really wanted this box for the coffee candle. It's just kind of a bonus that we got all of these extra stuff and it was like 50% off when I ordered it. So that is why I decided to order it. Um, but I really only wanted the coffee candle. I wish that was an option. I could have just ordered the candle and not got the straw and coffee and stuff. But it was fun to try that stuff. But I am very, very, very excited to start burning these candles now that I am finally done filming this video. And now we can move on to the Bath and Body Works side. So as you guys know, I am obsessed with Bath and Body Works candles. They are my absolute favorite. We went a couple of weeks ago, I think it was $15 candle day, something like that. It was like very, very, very cheap. So the candles were 50% off. So they were $25.95 and we got a discount of $12.98 off. So they were very, very, very cheap. And I love when Bath and Body Works has sales. So I'm gonna go through the soaps first. So the first soap that we got is Whaley Happy to See You soap. So it is a foaming soap. That is the only soap that we really get. We don't really usually get like the gel ones or anything. We just go for the foaming ones because those are the ones we enjoy. But I thought the packaging on this one was really cute. We have this one actually in our kitchen currently. So we got another one just because we liked the scent of it. So the scent of it is creamy saddlewood, salty ocean breeze and lemon zest. So it does smell like lemon. It is a really, really nice candle. I have it in my kitchen, so I already know what it smells like. It smells really, really nice. It's a very fresh scent and the packaging is so fucking cute. Loved it. The next one is, we're finally into fall. If you guys haven't noticed, we are in spooky season. This is the pumpkin cupcake soap. So of course it smells like pumpkins. It is baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla frosting, and golden honey. Mmm, smells so good. It smells delicious. It's a very, very fall scent. If you don't like fall scents, you won't like this soap, but it smells 
freaking amazing. It smells like vanilla. It doesn't really have that strong of a, like a pumpkin scent, but it has a very strong like whipped vanilla scent and oh, it's delicious. Mm. The next one is the Sunshine and Lemon Soap. I think he got this one for the packaging because he liked the packaging. The marble is really, really nice. I do have a marble print on my desk. Currently, my boyfriend put it on for me and my desk just brought it to the next level because it was really chipped. And my marble desk is my favorite. So I love the packaging on this one and it smells like lemons. It's sunshine and lemons. Yep, it smells like somebody literally squeezed a lemon into a bottle. That is exactly what this smells like. So this is yuzu grapefruit and sun rays. So it smells like lemon, but it has grapefruit in it. If that makes sense. It's a very citrus scented soap. It smells delicious. And the packaging was really nice. And the next thing is the blueberry crumble. So my boyfriend and my roommate, they're both named Kyle. They are obsessed with blueberries. Like when I say they are obsessed with blueberries, I mean like we have two like giant tubs full of blueberries in our fridge right now. And it's ridiculous because I'm not the biggest blueberry person, but they fucking love blueberries and it's ridiculous. But they got a blueberry crumble gentle foaming hand soap. So this one smells like fresh blueberries, brown sugar, glaze, and a dash of cinnamon. Cinnamon and blueberries sounds weird. Ooh. That smells like a blueberry pie. So blueberry crumble. That smells exactly like a blueberry pie. It smells really good. I don't think I would personally like this one because we got a blueberry one a couple of months ago and it was in our downstairs bathroom and I fucking hated the scent of it. I hated it so much, but when I smelt it in the bottle, it smelled amazing. In the bathroom and on my hands, hated it, hated it, hated it. It was awful. <laughs> so I think my roommate can keep this one in the upstairs bathroom that I don't use. So he can keep that one away from me because I don't like the scent of it. <laughs> so now we are on to his candles. So he got three candles. So they were 50% off. So I think he paid about $12 or something like that for each candle. So he got the rainbow confetti one, which is one that I got in the last haul that I did. I did the haul, I think it was in like July or June. I think it might've been June or July that I did my last Bath and Body Works haul and I had this candle in it. So he picked this one up because he really liked it and it smells like Fruit Loops. Mm. I love Fruit Loops. And then the packaging on it is amazing. It's a pride candle, love it. The next thing that he got is the Salted Pretzel Milkshake Candle. That is a very interesting milkshake. I don't think I've ever had a pretzel milkshake before, but it smells interesting. It has a very, very, very intense pretzel scent and it smells really, really good. If you like baking scents like that and pretzel scents like this, you'll really like this one. It's probably not my absolute favorite. This is probably why I didn't pick this one up personally, but it does smell really good. It has a really like salty scent to it and the packaging is really cute. So I think that's why he picked that one up, but the packaging is super adorable. I love it. It's so pretty. And the last candle that he picked up is the strawberry pound cake candle. So he has strawberry pound cake soap in his bathroom currently and I already know what this smells like it smells like strawberries it smells like baking it smells like the strawberry shortcake ice cream from Nestle and it was like the drumstick that is exactly what this smells like to me it's bringing me back to my childhood because I loved the strawberry shortcake ice creams when I was a kid they were my absolute favorite so that is what this one smells like it's not a very interesting packaging or anything it's just the I think it's the uh, white barn their signature packaging, but it is still a really nice candle. Now we can move on to my stuff. The next day. Hi guys, so I am back. It is the next day. So unfortunately my camera died and when my camera died, I lost half of the footage that I filmed yesterday. So I have to refilm all of the Bath and Body Works items that were mine. I got all of the other stuff still saved on my camera. So I don't know why only half of the footage was corrupt, but it was. So now I'm here the next day. I didn't really plan on filming today or doing a makeup look. So I just did something really, really quickly. I just threw on some black liner and a color pop in my waterline, just like a blue one and just my green wig because honestly, I plan on cleaning my house today. So I was not planning on filming. So I'm here though. <laughs> we can film the rest of my Bath and Body Works haul. So I'm gonna go through the soaps like I did yesterday again and just tell you guys why I got each soap and my two candles because I only picked up two candles during this haul because you guys just saw I have so many candles from my candle subscription that I really don't need candles right now. I love candles. I have a problem with 
buying candles, and I always buy way too many candles. There's a moth in here. Oh my God, he just flew by, it freaked me out. But anyway, <laughs> so the first soap that I picked up was the Garden Harvest Soap. So this soap smells like apples. So it is a apple blossom, garden mint, and saddlewood. I don't really smell the mint. In this soap, I just mostly smell um, apples. It smells really, really nice. It's a very, very, very fresh scent. I love the smell of apples, especially in soap products like this. It just smells so clean and so fresh. So I'm just really happy to find this one. I love apples, so I mean, that's why I picked this one up. This is what the packaging looks like on this one. This one is really cute. It's very, very festive and themed towards the autumn time. So I'm glad that I picked this one up and it smells amazing. I love it. The next one is the pumpkin cupcake soap. So my roommate, got this one as well, so we already talked about this one, but I did pick this one up as well, as well as the whale one. That one's actually in my kitchen, so I don't have it in here currently because it's like half empty. But I did pick up the pumpkin cupcake one because I really liked the scent of it and the packaging is really cute. The next one is the Black Cherry Merlot soap. So this is my absolute favorite soap from Bath & Body Works. It smells like licorice, so it smells like cherry licorice, which is like my absolute favorite treat. My boyfriend hates licorice, <laughs> so he never eats it. He doesn't like black licorice, he doesn't like red licorice, he doesn't like any of the flavors of licorice. I really like the strawberry one and I really like the cherry one, and this is exactly what it smells like to me. It smells like cherry licorice, like it's just so good. I really like black licorice as well, only certain types of black licorice. I don't like like the real black licorice, that stuff's gross, but like the fake stuff that you get in like jelly beans and like jujubes -jub and stuff, I love the taste of that stuff. But this one smells like cherry licorice and it's so good. It's my absolute favorite. I always pick this one up. I've had so many different um, versions of the bottle of this one. I wish I kept them all because some of the packagings are really cute and some of them are more just kind of like plain and boring like this one, but it smells amazing nonetheless and it's purple and it's so cute, so love it. And the last soap that I picked up is What's the scoop? And it tastes, tastes? It smells. <laughs> it smells like cherry vanilla float and that's exactly what it smells like. It literally just smells like ice cream. It is such a nice scent and it's not really a fall scent. It's more of a summer scent. This is probably on the tail end of summer, just like the whale one. But I really wanted to pick this one up because the packaging is really, really cute and the scent of it is amazing. I love the scent of cherry and vanilla together. Obviously, I like cherry. So that's why I picked those two up. And that was all of the soaps that I picked up. I only picked up four or five because we have one in the kitchen currently. So it was five for 25, so it's a pretty good deal. And honestly, I just love the foaming hand soaps. I can't go back to using the gel, like regular hand soaps that you can just get like from Walmart. Even Bath & Body Works has like the gel, like regular soap. I just don't like it. It leaves like a residue on my hands and it's not for me. So now we can move on to the last two candles. So they're very, very fall colored and they're very fall themed. So the first one that I picked up is Salted butterscotch. So it looks like this. The packaging isn't that interesting. It's literally just the classic white barn packaging. It looks like that. It is a nice color. I love the color. It definitely fits the theme of butterscotch and I can smell it already. It smells like butterscotch pudding. It is so good. It is so delicious. I love the scent of this. This is a perfect fall candle. And the second I light it, my whole house is gonna smell like butterscotch and I'm so excited. So this is such a cozy fall scent that I had to pick it up. And the candles were literally 50% off, so I didn't pay that much for this candle and I'm so excited to go pick up more. I know Bath & Body Works has already released more fall scents and more like Halloween themed stuff. So I'm gonna do another haul eventually. I just had to get through this one first because we got all of these candles probably about a month or so ago. So they've been in here for a while. So I started getting my fall scents in like the middle of July or end of July. That's when they started to come out because it is the middle of August now. So I've been in spooky season for quite a while. <laughs> and the last candle that I picked up is pumpkin spice latte. It is just a regular packaging. Again, it's just the white barn packaging. It's nothing too fancy, but it smells amazing. It smells exactly like pumpkin spice lattes. It smells like kind of caramel, a little bit of pumpkin, and a lot of vanilla. It smells amazing. This one is pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, and homemade whipped cream. I'm really getting the whipped cream. So this one reminds me of the candle that my boyfriend loves from Bath & Body Works, which is the Paris Cafe candle. He absolutely loves that candle, and that's what this one reminds me of. It just has a little bit more of a fall scent to it because it has the pumpkin spice mixed in there. So it reminds me of Paris Cafe. So if you know what Paris Cafe smells like, think of that, but with a little bit of pumpkin 
pumpkin spice and like cinnamon mixed into there. And that's what this one smells like. So I was really excited to find this one. I'm so excited to go pick up more fall scents from Bath & Body Works and see what else they have for pumpkin flavors because this is the only pumpkin one that I really picked up besides the soap, which was pumpkin cupcake. So I'm excited to go see what else they have at the store because they have been releasing stuff on their website that has been really fall themed. So I'm hoping that they're gonna release like cocoa or like more coffee themed ones because that's what cozy fall scents are to me. So I'm really hoping they release more um, fall themed stuff soon. So I'm really, really in the middle of spooky season. So as you can see from my sign, I am already decorating my house. My house is already starting to become spooky. I'm starting to get in the cozy vibe of fall and I know it's still August. It is the middle of August currently, but the weather right now has turned to being a lot cooler in the prairies right now. So it just kind of feels like fall right now and I'm getting really, really excited because the fall is obviously my favorite time of the year. <laughs> so I'm super excited to go pick up more candles and do another haul because fall time is my absolute favorite. Also, I'm really excited for the winter scents because the winter scents are my absolute favorite from Bath & Body Works. I'm not the biggest fan of their summer and like spring scents. I get excited when it's that time of year, but they're not my absolute favorite. I love the fall and winter scents. They're my absolute favorite. They smell so amazing and they're so cozy and warm and just, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm sorry that I have, okay, there's a bug in here and it's really annoying me. It keeps flying in front of my face. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I haven't posted in about a week, but I have had some technical issues with this video and it was supposed to go up today and now it probably won't go up till tomorrow. So I'm a little annoyed. But I have currently just been cleaning my house, decorating my house with fall decor, and honestly just been going out to restaurants and movies and stuff, because now that we can, that we are fully vaccinated, we have been living our best lives outside of our house, because we currently can. And I will get back on my schedule soon. So I usually post about two to three videos a week. Currently, I only have two videos going up a week and right now I have not posted a video in a week so I'm sorry for the delay for all of the people who watch my channel regularly I will be posting this video as soon as possible and I will be filming a spooky video next after this video so I have a bunch from reddit that I can read and react to with you guys and I know a lot of you guys have used my little poll that I have going in my community tab asking what you guys wanted and a lot of you guys wanted the spooky video. So I went searching for spooky videos to read and that will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that and I'm going to be getting into my spooky content soon. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do for my backdrop this year because the last two years I have been putting up like spooky backdrops, but I don't know. I might decorate for fall. I might get another spooky backdrop. I might use the same one as last year because it has all of these creepy pumpkins all over it and I love it. But I'm excited that it is starting to become fall time and I'm just really, really excited to get this video up. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. And I will see you guys at the next video. Bye. Absolutely unnecessary noisy car passing by. Fuck off. This is the pumpkin cupcake candles. Candle. This is a soap.